Thank you very much for the introduction. So um, I'm going to talk about lifelong learning, and in particular, lifelong learning applied in a context of optimization. So for those of you that were in the panel this morning, we spoke a little bit about lifelong learning and, and deep learning, but I'm going to specifically talk here about optimization algorithms. So just to set the scene, I, I want you to think about the kind of real-world scenario in which people out there practically want to optimize problems. So imagine there's a, a factory. Um, Every day, or maybe it's every hour, maybe every day, every week, orders are arriving at the factory, it's producing something, and the factory want to optimize their schedule so they make it as efficient as possible. So they have some kind of optimization algorithm or system that will take in the incoming orders and produce a schedule. And the next hour or the next day, another schedule arrives, and they produce another schedule, and so on and so on. And the key thing here is there's this continual pipeline of problems streaming into the factory. It's not a one-off optimization process. Every time a new order arrives, we have to optimize again. Okay? So the question is, what kind of optimization algorithm can best deal with this continuous stream of instances that are arriving at the factory? So if, if you look in the optimization literature, obviously, there's lots of different types of optimization. They come from exact heuristics, from meta heuristics, from hyper heuristics. There's many different kind of approaches. So I'm going to kind of generalize a little bit here and say they fall into two main types of algorithm. So the first is what I call a generalist algorithm. So here we take some algorithm, and it doesn't matter if it's an evolutionary algorithm or hyperheuristic or, or how it's derived, and we take some training set of instances, um, hopefully covering a wide variety of situations, and we teach our algorithm or tune our algorithm by changing the parameters or selecting different operators to work well across this large set of problems. And what we're hoping here is that if we inject a new instance, the same algorithm will do well. Now, if you train over a large set like that, there's probably some compromise in performance because you're trying to find a generalist algorithm that works well in many scenarios. So it's not specifically tuned to each um, individual um, scenario. But also, there's a, there's a different problem here, that if some instance arrives now that has very different characteristics than a previous instance, so maybe the type of customer has changed, the type of schedule you're trying to create has changed, the, the things that you're manufacturing have changed in size, which causes the machines to operate, operate differently. So now we've got something with very different instance uh, characteristics, and it's quite likely that the algorithm you tune to work well on this set of instances won't work well now on this new instance that has very different characteristics. 